Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay tested the aspiring chef's palates. What is that? The red team was led by Bonnie, the nanny. It's a pear chef. Thank you. Well done. While the blue team... Scallop chef. Uh, ...was disappointed by Josh, the sous chef. Yes! We cannot be beaten. The women were rewarded with a unique dining experience. We're about to eat in the dark. Wow. Oh, my God. And the men... Pig's feet, tripe. ...were punished with a selection of disgusting delicacies. Just throw it up. Then, at dinner service... Open the doors to Hell's Kitchen. ...with Rock... Come over here and cook these, please. Thank you, Rock. ...and Jen excelling. After that, two risotto, one mullet. Chef Ramsay was hoping for a complete meal service. Won't the risotto. It's not cooked properly, yes. yeah? ...but was disappointed by Vinny. Vinny! That is rare! Josh. You got nothing on. You've got nothing on. Melissa. I'll kick you out and I'll do the fucking sex myself. And Bonnie. Stop lying to me. You're saying yes all the time, yet nothing's done. On the nanny with a good palate. That's it. Chef Ramsay ran out of patience. Stop! Issued an ultimatum. One more dish back and I'm gonna shut him down. And stuck to it. There you go. Clear down. With no winning team, Rock and Jen each nominated a teammate for elimination. Josh. Melissa. But Chef Ramsay had another idea. I'm disappointed. You didn't nominate the worst performers. Bonnie, Vinny, step forward. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight is Vinny. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. And with that, Vinny walked out of Hell's Kitchen and away from his dream of running a restaurant at the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Do you think I was off by nominating you? Yes, 100%. 100%? I did not deserve to be put up tonight. Rock wants me off. He's put me up twice, and you know what? That's fine. If Chef Ramsay didn't see anything in me, I'd be gone. I think that you try to go so fast sometimes, you trip yourself up. Maybe I see it differently. Josh is the worst of us. He doesn't have a chance unless I fall flat on my face, Brad falls flat on his face. I think he's maxed out. We haven't won anything. We started out with six. We're in half. Now that the blue team has dwindled down to three people, we lost the excess weight, now we're ready to run. We're a team, dude. We're a team. We're a team. For, for right now, we are. You all right? Yeah, fine. All right. I just wish you guys would have, like, patted me on the back or something. You guys have just been ignoring me. Like, I feel like I'm the elephant in the room. I'm, I'm here, and everyone sees me, but they're just not acknowledging me, so I may as well have gone home. We had a long walk back up here, and you guys didn't say one thing to me. It's just a really shit feeling. I, I needed some team support. So. It's a fucking competition. I think Bonnie is kind of uh, a failure ready to happen. Maybe I just don't have what it takes to be here. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and another chance for the exhausted chefs to prove themselves. Hello. Get your asses in the SUV. Right now. Thanks, thank you. In the SUVs, outside. Okay. My first thought is sweet, we're actually getting out of the kitchen. I finally saw the sun for the first time in a long time. I haven't won a goddamn thing yet. Good morning. Morning, Chad. New day, new challenge. For the very first time in Hell's Kitchen, we are catering for a very unique, special event. We are cooking for a wedding reception. Well, wedding's a once-in-a-lifetime event. We want to make it special, so the pressure's on now. The bride and groom will be married, and they'll be celebrating at Hell's Kitchen. Each team will need to create one appetizer, one fish entree, one meat entree. Each team has a budget of $100. You've got 30 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Chef. Off you go. With only 30 minutes, 
Okay, go, go, go. It's crucial that the chefs work together you land with beef. to create a great tasting menu that will be appropriate for an entire wedding party. What do you guys think of duck? Well, well, that's time to work. I think we should go for lamb. I like lamb. I think we should go with the duck. Is that going to be feasible for all those people for the wedding reception? I did take the lead because over the past few days, I feel like the team has put me in that position. It's two ninety-nine a pound. You can't get cheaper okay, than that. Oh, so grab it. With only a hundred dollars to spend on all three dishes, thirty-six, thirty-nine. Way too much. The teams must keep a close eye on their budgets. How much is this? These yellow peppers are way expensive. I know how to shop, you know, I grew up in the ghetto, so you don't just go in there and grab, you know, the thing that looks good or has the best label. Save that money. We only got $30 left. Good call, Good deal. Bro. Good deal. Just one, just one. We got the brie, now we need brown sugar. We can do some asparagus. Let's do something simple like that, boom. Yep. But then we need to move while we're talking. We're going out. for two minutes. We have two, two minutes, minutes, gentlemen. To the right, to the right. To the right, to the right. Let's go. Don't kill anybody. Right, right. Let's go, let's go. Okay, guys, you got one minute left. Oh. Stay together, stay together. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Bring it in. Ten seconds. Right here, right here, right here. One second time. Both teams make it to the checkout in time. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right. I think we did good. Oh, thank you. The red team comes in below the hundred dollar limit, while the blue team. Oh. Shit. Thirty-seven twenty-eight has to come off. This is only six fifty. Let's take exactly. this back. Let's keep this going, crowd. Tough decision, fellas. Tough decision. We need to put back a lot of the stuff that we want. We got to take it off somehow. We can't take it all off them. Which uh, really hurt us because we had to put some items back that we needed, which is not good. We uh, have to. We have no. Listen, okay, we can't go with take a bass $37. for the fish. Go with $37. And then for the on, and for the on $37. Figure it out. You know what, guys? We're going to have to get rid of the wine. Let's get rid of the wine. That's the biggest chunk that we can afford to take off. Okay. All right. Well, we're creating flavors, what we're doing. We spent $99.59. We're in. We're in. Half of this voids. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well, Appreciate it. All right. Okay, let's go, everybody. With the shopping completed for the wedding reception tasting, both teams have just one hour to prepare their dishes. Cutting boards. I got cutting boards. Cutting boards, boiling water, stock on. If anybody has a question, let's just ask me, since that's what the chef's been doing. Oh, yeah. That's been helping us. Look, that's all we got, so we need to use every bit of that. Use all of this. Don't throw any of this away. Bonnie, I'm going to sear it till it gets really, really crispy. No, you have to do it very slowly. It's not a sear. What's the problem? Ask me, Julie, if you have any questions. All right. What's the problem? What is your problem, Melissa? You're supposed to listen to me, not Bonnie. Excuse me? Everybody good? Yes? Yes, Melissa. While Melissa dictates things in the red kitchen, the blue team takes a more democratic approach. All right, John, we've got to work together, communicate. Simple, simple, but just very flavorful. Checking on your duck there, uh, Julia. You took it out of the oven? Yeah, so it won't burn. I think you should just put this in so just for a little for a bit. Minute. Guys, all the food has to be hot, okay? And I'm assuming that you Don't have assume. a little bit of knowledge of how to cook. Otherwise, you shouldn't be here. I thought that you knew how to cook, too. I am above all this. Are you mocking? If you have any question to ask, don't just assume and do it. While Melissa continues her dictatorship in the red kitchen, in the blue kitchen, the men are quickly using up their limited resources. Those lunches are overcooked. Is that all? Make it into a puree. Yep, make it into a puree. Um, we had a lot of waste, which is not a good thing at all. I don't have much to work with. I wouldn't be wasting anything. Okay, gentlemen, two minutes to go, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The duck is overdone. I know, you made it overdone. I didn't don't make it down. overdone. Your job, your station. You suck yes. it back in the oven. Don't try it. I took it out on time. Exactly. One minute to go, yes? yes One minute. minute. Chef. Don't try to throw your blame on me. You take it. Ladies, plates on here, yes? Plate them up, yes? 15 seconds to go, gentlemen. Three plates on here, yes? Yes, Chef. 15 seconds to go. You guys, we need to start plating. Plate up right now. Time! Present your food. It's now time for the wedding dishes to be judged. This menu is a crucial, critical menu. Did you use the time wisely? No, no chef. chef. What? No. Too many people were arguing on our team, chef. Oh, come on, ladies. Why are we arguing, Julia, on such an important occasion? Because there was one person that wanted to run around and do every single thing. Who's in charge? I'm in charge, but unfortunately, I can't do everything at once. I so, need so, so, help. I didn't put you in charge, madam. You're standing there acting like some jumped-up little cave woman. Today's challenge, quite frankly, was a team effort. Let's hope what you produced in the last hour 
is delicious. I've got some good news for you. I'm not going to be judging those dishes today. I've got the bride and groom. They will be choosing which dishes they want for their reception. Carlotta and Cyrus. Welcome. Yes. Please, take a seat. Thank you. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Chef, I don't think that we should serve them our food. Uh, Melissa, this is barely 24 hours before their big day. Right now, little lady, you are not going to spoil it. Bring the appetizers forward and do as you're told. The team with the most dishes chosen by the wedding couple will win this challenge. What we have here is a crab with thyme and grapefruit aioli. Thank you. Thank you. What we have here is puff pastry. It's got a melted brie cheese in the middle with fresh strawberry on top. Thank you. Carlotta, maybe start with the crab. And Cyrus, why don't you start with the strawberries? I think the flavor is fantastic. I think everyone would love this, actually. Cyrus, what do you think of that strawberry? I think this is very good, but it is very dessert-like. Would you be happy to have the crab as your first dish? I think yeah. that would be great. Mm -hmm. Good. One nil to the blue team. The bride and groom have chosen the men's crab appetizer, giving the blue team a one-dish lead. Next up is the fish entree. This is um, sea bass with collard greens cured in bacon. Josh, please. Right over here, we have a fresh herb crusted Corvina sea bass with a vegetable broth butter foam sauce. Bacon. Thank you. Nice. Right. Ladies first. There we are. This is just a little bit strange. Uh -huh. The foam. Cyrus? Excellent. So, what is your decision? Definitely the collard greens with the bacon. I think that's great. Yeah. In the Battle of the Sea Bass, the women's dish is preferred over the men's. Fish entree to the ladies. 1-1. One, one. Now, it all comes down to the meat entree. Tied 1-1, one, one, all the pressure, riding on me. Third and final dish. Please present the meat entrees. We shouldn't sign it. Please present the meat entrees together. You ready, Jen? Jen, don't sign it. Melissa, I don't know what you're trying to do, whether you're trying to upset our guests, but right now, I'm starting to get pissed. Now, will you send your food? Let's go. Right. Dome's off. Uh, right. Okay. Um... There are no words to say how humiliating it was serving a piece of shit duck to a husband and wife to be. I really wanted to disintegrate. Oh dear. Jen. Yes, Chef. Describe the dish. That's a duck breast. Um. First of all, I'm deeply embarrassed. I am as well. I was so embarrassed, you know? They probably think I cooked it. I had nothing to do with that. Rock, please explain. We have a dry-aged ribeye that's been pan-seared and served with a wild mushroom cream sauce. Thank you. Thank you a lot. There we are, my night. Excuse me. Oh, wow, this is really tough. I'm so sorry. Nobody's going to eat that. No. That's great. Definitely. Rock's ribeye easily beats the women's lame duck, and the men win their first challenge in Hell's Kitchen. Two things are happening right now. Number one, we finally got a win, and we feel great about it. Number two, it's open hunting season on chicks, and we're about to start picking them off one by one. Uh, my uh, apologies, and we'll do all we can to make sure it's a very special day. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at Tasting. Thank you. Thank you. You four hell's bitches, I am embarrassed. I don't think I've ever, ever been so embarrassed inside this restaurant in my entire life. That was a joke. You should be ashamed. All four of you are going to work your asses off. 
Get out my sight. That was well done. Bloody well done. You won hands down. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. OK, for the reward, yes? You're going to have a really nice, relaxing, chilled-out, pampered day, yes? At the XL Spa, all three of you are going to be treated like princes. After all the rewards that the girls won, I'm so glad that we won this one. We getting pampered. I love it. What the fuck happened? Melissa gets spazzed out when she's in the kitchen. Is it the power struggle? And she was the one that made the duck overcook. She was gonna. She over. She threw it back in there. I know. We are gonna have a mutiny, and we are gonna rise up, and we are going to take her down. Melissa threw the duck breast back in the fucking oven. It was perfect, and that's why I got overcooked. She was gonna cook it for. Ooh. Brad. Yes, chef. When was the last time you had a nice massage? I've never had a massage, chef. Wow. Make sure you keep your pants on. Yes, chef. Scott. Here we are. Nice, big, thick, luxurious robes. Get them on, yes, and get ready for your spa. Congratulations, you deserve it. I really mean that. Now fuck off. <laughs> oh, do I need this? Oh. Whew, holy crap. Ooh, I'm feeling good right now. I'm not even gonna laugh. We weren't the better of the worst. We won, and we beat them bad. This is a double positive. It was a win for us. We feel great. They're coming apart. So what do you think happened today? I don't know. What do you think happened? I think that you were um, doing a whole lot of talking and not enough cooking. Who put you in charge? OK, good. Do you agree? Or... I'm, I'm not ready to talk yet. Well, you can't just take the reins like that and start bossing people around. You couldn't take control? You, you took control, control. Yeah. Melissa, and you basically told me to shut the fuck up. You said, don't ask Bonnie questions, ask me. Oh, right, right, right. You made me feel like an asshole, so I just stopped talking. We had to get something done. But nothing got done, though. Yeah, because everybody forgot how to cook tonight. That's not true. There was a lot of disrespect going on. When anybody treats me with disrespect, I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to tell you this. I think we need to respect each other uh -huh. and the tones of our voices. You know what you need to do next time, I think? What? I think next time you need to grow a set of balls. I'm like this close to strangling her right now. You know what? If one of you think you could do a better job, go. Who? Oh, yeah. Having won their first challenge ever, the men leave for their reward a day at a luxury spa. Oh, my God. This is exactly what I need. And while a masseuse works on releasing the men's knots, the women will be decorating the restaurant for the couple tying the knot. I would like to introduce you, Francisco, who's the wedding planner. I see we have our work to do. We're going to deck the halls with chiffons and florals. We're going to cloak the chairs with white, white, white fabric and bows. You'd think there were angels in the room. Super. There's so much more. Champagne flutes, flower petals, bubble bottle blowers, roses, beautiful pink ribbons, a garden of gorgeousness. Are you ready to make magic happen? Yeah, you're gonna make magic happen. <laughs> okay, follow me. <laughs> okay. This is gonna look just like Cinderella's wedding. A wedding takes a while to set up for. We'll be decorating until the wee hours in the morning, probably. Thank you very much, girls. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Guys, listen. Let's come up with a plan. We want to finish this. As long as we work in, though. Well, so keep keep doing the thing. Okay. Okay. So okay. what you're gonna do is hold this. Julie, do you need help over there? Do you want me to help you with that? Oh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Did Bonnie show you <laughs> what you needed? Are y'all okay? Are y'all okay? Can I help you? Do you need me to do anything? Are y'all okay? I don't understand why we can't just work. Will it be faster if I help you with that? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even understand why she keeps talking. Julie, do you want me to show you how to do those? I think I figured it out. Jen, how are you? I'm fabulous. You'll feel pressure, then it will pass. Never had acupuncture, and initially I was like, ah. You sleep well? I didn't feel like I was asleep. I felt like I was going in and out. I'm going to go down like this. You just relax, OK? She was 
you know, lifting me and twisting me and all this stuff. And, you know, I kind of felt weird at first. You gotta work on that relaxed thing. Yeah, <laughs> not used to relaxing. <laughs> but as soon as I let myself go, I was in total bliss. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Rock, you get used to this wedding thing, huh? I can. How about you, bro? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you want to do all the same, like five pink, four yellow. Are you serious? Four. Yes, I'm serious. I'm as serious as a heart attack. I'm not doing it. If nobody else is going to correct the problem and it's going to make us fail at our task, then I'm going to take charge and try and correct it. I'm trying to make you guys help me a tiny bit. Why I'll is it about this. helping you <laughs> for well, some reason? I'm trying to get everything done quicker. I don't want to listen to you anymore, Melissa. We're going to be here all night decorating and she's not going to stop talking and I may have to strangle her with some chiffon. What is, what's happened to you? As the women struggled to get along, the men bond over their rewarding day. I think we do a toast to the next dinner service and us three pull together and beat their ass. Kick their asses. Let's see those hell's bitches go down. <laughs> Hold that down a little bit. Oh, man. They're going to get so pissed, they're going to go each other's throats. Yeah, salute to that. I'm trying to come up with a plan. If you would like to help me come up with a plan, that would be great. I'm uh, talking and not working. That's what I was saying. I understand about. Let's that. Work. Let's get but it done. I think it would be quicker that way. Who cares? Just put the mints in the mesh. My God. What vessel in my forehead is going to burst? You're starting to sound like Chef. It's a new day, and for the first time ever, Hell's Kitchen is hosting a wedding reception. But just remember, you got to be able to share your recipes with the girls next door. And as a result of the tasting challenge, the menu will include dishes from both teams. Guys, how are you doing your potato thing? Because they have to be the same. How long you bake it for and on what uh, temperature? Um, probably 350. Probably, or you are. Rock could be trying to tell me to do it the wrong way. But it has to chill first, then we have to bake it. No, you chill after the baking. Get it in the oven now. Go. Melissa kept asking about these potatoes. She's overcomplicating, telling me what to do, and I don't see how that makes any sense. She's tripping over potatoes and carrots. I'm going to hurt you today, you know that? Because I'm too smart, and I'm giving you a hard time. If Melissa was on my team, a very dark side of me would come out. Don't ask me no more questions. While Rock and Melissa may never get married... ...the bride and groom are about to exchange their vows. Dear family and friends, we are gathered together here in the presence of God and one another. Only an hour away from opening, Chef Ramsay checks in on the kitchen to make sure everything is running smoothly. What the fuck? Come here, Rock. Hey, madam. Yes, Chef. Yeah, come on. Chef. What is that? I have no idea. Mine doesn't look like that. Bring me yours. This bitch is killing me. We're potentially ruining their fucking most important day of their life. Hey, 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 oh, come on. Speak. I want an answer. Chef, today is when I did them. I know they're black. I did it exactly the way Rock told me to do it. That bitch is crazy. I showed her exactly how to make this simple-ass, dumb-ass dish. Then she was going to blame it on me. And he kept switching recipes. Okay, stop that, stop that, right. Would you eat that? No. So if I hadn't spotted them, what were you going to do? Serve them? No, Chef. You've left them out of the water. That's why they've gone oxidized. But look at them! Oh my god. Start again! They're getting fucking married! I can't stop the church! You may kiss the bride. I pronounce that they are husband and wife. The wedding couple are on their way. And the red team is also on their way to disaster. See those potatoes? Where are we now, then, with them? Oh, they're black as well. I did them all the same way. I took them out of the Listen, room. listen, look at me. Will you stop panicking and just listen? If you just shut the fuck up for 30 seconds, you might learn something. Yes, Chef. Welcome, welcome. Please feel free to sign. They're all black. Yes, Chef. They've all oxidized. Yes, Chef. And it is fucking gonna poison somebody. Yes, Chef. Now stop being a stubborn little bitch. And fucking move your ass. Yes, Chef. And now, they're out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Kitchen is proud to announce Mr. and Mrs. Cavari.
Melissa, how about a little applaud, yeah? A little bit of respect, Melissa. <laughs> we have seriously, seriously got to go. Jess, come here. We've got a problem with the potatoes. Yes, you want sure. down. I want step on step up again. Okay. You can move faster than that, can't yes, you? Sure. See you walking around like this. Melissa, fuck the potatoes up. At this point, I have to put her in her place. I'm sick of being upset. I'm sick of being yelled at. I need to stand on my own two feet at this point. So speed up! Okay, all right. It's just minutes before the first orders of the night will be taken, and the Red Kitchen must remake all of their potatoes from scratch. Blue team, if you won the challenge, you're cooking for the bride and groom, okay? Yes, sure. chef. It's your day today, so I'm going to start with your order. I will take the Dungeness Craft Salad. I'll try the uh, key risotto. Bride and groom first, yes? Yes, sir. On order, the most important table of the night, yes? Bride and groom, one crab salad, one risotto. Yes, chef. How long? Yes, chef. How long? 90 seconds, chef. 90 window. seconds. Yes, chef. I can't serve anyone else before the bride and groom. They should be first. Yes, chef. Let's go. Six covers, table 31, yes? One risotto, three scallops, two crab salad. Yes, yes chef. Let's go, yes? Yes, chef. Scott, check that risotto, please, yeah? Yes, chef, absolutely. That risotto's not ready. Oh, come on. Fuck me. Yo, hold up. This isn't ready. This isn't ready. Pull it back. Pull it back. Brad, can you get on there and help him, yeah? Yeah, Yeah, because he's too fucking slow. I was like, oh my gosh, we better hurry up. People are hungry. The first ticket's still waiting. We have to make this go out right, or it's going to kill us. With Josh keeping the bride and groom waiting for their appetizers, he's not only holding up the blue kitchen, but the red kitchen as well. What's going on? I'm taking the scallops up right now. Bonnie. I cannot serve this table until the bride and groom have been served. We got our food out before the blue team, and I was so pissed off with them because we have a lot of things that we could be doing, but we have to wait. Brad, yes, sure. I've put two of you on the appetizers, and you're cooking fucking me. Yes, Stop sure. it. Now, get on the appetizers and do as you're fucking told. Yes, chef. Because of this race, nothing's going to come out. Yes, yeah, chef. Hey, chef. I want the fucking risotto for the bride yeah, and chef. groom. Service, Scott, please. Service, please. 30 minutes into the wedding reception, and Carlotta and Cyrus have finally received their appetizers. Absolutely have to try that. Wow. You still look fabulous, by the way, huh? You should be covering GQ, you. Front cover, Captain Dick. Chef wants to put me on the cover of GQ. It's all good. What I'm waiting for is Chef to put me in charge of Green Valley Ranch. Let's go. In the red kitchen, the women appear to have put their differences aside and are getting out their appetizers. Let's go. Service, please. Pick up complete table 50, please, yes? Let's go. Julia, you've tasted more in the last five minutes than you have all week. Well, I just want to make sure it's Good. Right. I'm happy with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I'm happy with it. Let's go. That was a huge compliment coming from Chef Ramsey. But I'm starting to figure out, you know, that working in a fine dining kitchen is more about, you know, throwing things in there and just constantly tasting and tasting. JP, the parents of the bride have not been fed yet. Are they a higher priority table or how? No, you tell, you tell Gordon. Tell Gordon. You tell him you're, you're the wedding planner. Who, oh, Gordon? Yes, you're free. I, I don't need a wedding planner during my service. Don't really want to be told by anybody what to do. Uh... Gordon, service, please. Can you get out of the fucking way? I'm trying to serve food. Can you I'm get out of the way. Stand out of the fucking way. Okay, I think that went well. Unbelievable. Oh, come on, girls, please, go. Fuck you now, go. So you had a chat with the chef? I did. So he's going to speed it up? He said he's going to. Yeah. For the first time in Hell's Kitchen... Service, please. ...all of the appetizers have gone out within the first hour. This is really good. Yeah. Good, well done, guys. Stay on top of it, yes? Yes, chef. chef. You waiting on me? I'm not waiting anywhere. I'm going up as a team. How's that for an answer? I'm very proud of my team. Make me want to just hug somebody. Fellas, we're rolling now. Keep going. Push, push. The challenge of a wedding reception is that all dishes of each course must go out at once. Chef Ramsay is using tonight's service as a test of the aspiring chef's timing. So first main course is four ribeye, two chicken. Yes, chef. chef. One and a half minute, okay? Yeah. All right. I think we can do it. I gotta in one go. Minute. We gotta go. Sorry, guys. We need three minutes to test the braise. Melissa, come on. You're putting us behind. Four ribeye, two chicken. How long? Four minutes. Four minutes. Yes, chef. I want the lettuce to be done. Fucking oh, egg. I can go. What? I thought you said four minutes. Guys, what? you still need four minutes. I can go earlier. We're waiting for you. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Four minutes. What is she doing? Just come here. Can you stop pissing around? Stand up straight. 
What is your game here today? What is your fucking game? Something's happened to you. You've just switched off completely. You're turning into a right little bitch. No, chef. Wake up. Yes, chef. Fucking pathetic. I'm definitely upset, but, you know, I'm not the type of girl that's going to cry. Because when I go down, the team goes down. Can you go on one minute? Less than one minute? Can you do it? Jen, it's not about you listening to them bullying you. You drive it. Yes, chef. One and a half minutes. I think Chef Ramsey's looking at me to take a leadership role. Four ribeyes, I'm going. Meet, meet me up there. Here you are. Four ribeye. These plates are very hot, okay? Okay, well done, yes. Jen! Hey, really well done, yes? Yes, Chef. While Jen has emerged as the leader in the red kitchen, over in the blue kitchen... Where is the sauce for the sea bass? For your chef. Josh is moving fast to get entrees to the pass. Hey, you. Dick, come here. Maybe a little too fast. Heat the sauce up! It's stone cold! Here, here, Look here. at him running around with a pan. Oh, my... Get it on the stove! The chef. Oh, fuck's sake. Entrees are at a near standstill in both kitchens. But for the moment, diners have their minds on something else. My sister not only mastered the languages that she studied, but she also mastered some of their men. <laughs> what? If only things were so easy in the red kitchen. Garnish, please, by ribeye. Come on. Where's the sabillon? Oh, fuck. The sabillon fell. The Zabinier sauce was in a water bath, and after I took the spoon out of it, it must have turned over, and the water got in the Zabinier. I have to get more Zabinier. What? I have to get more Zabinier. Can I borrow some of your Zabinier, please? You need some of it? I need all that, honey. I need all that. Can I please just have... Just, just have enough for the order. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of here, you! Get out! What are you Zabignon doing? What are you, what are you doing? I was going to go get some Zabin. Get one on! So you take theirs and then, then they run out. I'll piss off, will you, you little sabotage? Get some eggs on! Why am I going to sabotage the team so I could hear him? I don't want him screaming in my ear. I want him being happy. Sauce, please. Sauce is coming up to the window. Service, please. Despite the Sabian crisis... Go, please. Come on, please. Go. The red kitchen recovers. Let's go. Let's push this out, baby. Let's go, Blue. Come on, ladies. Last table, how long? Three and a half minutes, Chef. We're almost there, fellas. Finish strong. And for the first time... Well done. Hell's Kitchen has fed all those who have gathered here today. And Chef Ramsay has a special surprise for the newlyweds. All right, ladies. Come over, please. Stand here, please. The bride and groom are here. Let's go. Just clear it away. Gentlemen, let's go. Carlotta and Cyrus. Oh, you look absolutely fabulous. Thank yes, you. stunning. We wish you all the very best. Um, before Thank you go, you. we have a gift, and it's a wonderful honeymoon gift at the Green Valley Ranch Resort oh in Las Vegas. God. Wow. Wow. For you both. Thank oh, you. Thank oh you. My Please God. enjoy. Not at all. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not at all. Thank you. The bride and groom are whisked away to a luxury suite at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. But back in Hell's Kitchen, it's anything but a honeymoon. Ooh la la. We got off to a slow start there. Then all of a sudden we found our second wind and it was ooh, propelling. Tonight, the losing team is. Ladies. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. You are the losing team? Men, you finished three minutes in front. Well done, guys. Thank, Thank you, chef. chef. The best cook in the ladies' team this evening was Jen. The workload was phenomenal. Thank you, chef. Go back to the dorms. Think hard, really hard, about two individuals you want to nominate for elimination. Off you go. <laughs> this is a very difficult decision. I don't know. I don't... I honestly don't know how to base this. <sighs> so tell me what you think, you know? Yes. Just... Like, I don't feel like I'm getting back what I give to everybody, and I don't think that's fair. I know. I don't it's fair. Fair. It's and how fair. you talk, how you talk to people. And I agree, I agree, I but agree. But that's neither here nor there. Like, and you just to need to calm down, Melissa. I'm not ready to go home. Not at all. 
All those girls would have never gotten through those first three services without me. They wouldn't have. So what you want to talk about? You know, I just want you to tell me what you think, you know? I'm a strong presence in the kitchen, and I think that it will hurt our team if I go up. I'm hoping what happens tonight is that I don't go home because I'm not ready to go home. I put um, Melissa up. I, I'm pretty sure she's going to go home. But nobody knows that. I know definitely I'm going to nominate Melissa. But as far as Julia and Bonnie, I, I don't know. The thing is, is that you and Julia are the same. I think the only thing that separates me from her is that I know more. Mm -hmm. But I don't have any reasons to put you up there. I have a special place in my heart for Bonnie just because she's professional and we both are honest with each other. I feel like there's a better chance of me going home than if you put Julia up there. I don't know if he's going to send Melissa home. I just don't know. For the first time in weeks, the men are safe. No such luck for the women, who must now face Chef Ramsay. Jen, have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. First nominee and why, please? My first nominee is Melissa, Chef. I feel it's important to recognize your mistakes instead of trying to blame everyone else for them. Second nominee and why, please? My second nominee is Bonnie. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I know that Bonnie did an impeccable service today, but in past services, she wasn't on point. And Melissa and Bonnie, step forward, please. Melissa, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I've been doing this for 10 years. I know a lot of things that maybe some girls on our team weren't sure of. I kind of felt like I had to, I guess, carry everybody. I do not intend to be a dictator. That's not my objective. Hey, Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I feel like I've just started to skim the surface on my potential. I know I have a lot to learn, but I'm not ready to go home. The chef inside me is just starting to emerge. My decision is... Melissa, give me your jacket. You, madam, are going in the men's team. Take your jacket off. This is yours. Thank you, Chef. Now, listen carefully. Perhaps with a change of environment. Yes, Chef. Really start shining. Yes, Chef. Over with the men. Your new team. Chair right there. Bonnie. Back in line. I'm so happy for you. I love you, Bonnie. Melissa, this is your very last chance. Yes, Chef. I think now being on the boys' team, it's kind of like starting fresh. I don't have to help or carry anybody, and I'm totally ready to kick the Red Team's ass now. I don't know what's going to help me cope with Melissa. She's going to lose. She might beat out Josh. She ain't beating out me, i tell you that for sure. She ain't that good. Now fuck off out of there. Oh, I put you up there because I knew you missed the Well, I think it'll be better that Melissa's on the boys' team without her nagging us all the time and bullying us. It's our time to shine. I've never seen anyone go from being a strong chef to being such a terrible chef so quickly. And that's why tonight I'm giving Melissa one more chance. Her only hope now is that she fits in better with the boys than she did with the girls. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Get those lobsters out. The claws come out. Get in there. Oh my god. What do I look like? The whole thing freaked me out. That was bullshit. And you still won't listen. Has fine dining finally frazzled our short order cook? And can Melissa redeem herself? You don't know that's overcooked. Sorry, guys. And will Bonnie's dreams of running her own restaurant go up in flames? Oh no. Got a fire over there, boy. Fire! Stop, stop, stop! Oh! One thing's for sure, it's an elimination like you've never seen before. Take your jacket off. I'm not done yet. It's the most explosive episode yet. You are a big fake. Next time on Hell's Kitchen.
If I hear you argue one more fucking time in front of them, hey, listen, hey, this mm -hmm. is not fucking funny now. I don't care how smart you look, yeah? How fucking cocky you think you are, you're making us all look stupid. Stopping food. Stop it. Behave yourself and get a grip. Okay? Personally, I don't really think a wedding planner is necessary. I don't really see how people could pay a person to do a job which is done by somebody else. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I've been doing it all my life. I don't really want to be told by somebody to serve the bread on one table or the other. Back off, you know. I don't need a wedding planner. Bonnie, sit down two minutes. When I saw you uh, being bullied into not doing what you wanted to do, um, I was a little bit pissed off. You say not to bicker in the kitchen, so you, once something like that starts, I feel like instead of starting an argument, then fine, you know? I was basically right. told to shut the fuck up that I didn't know what I was doing. Let me just tell you something. Arguing is healthy. When the air is cleared, it's cleared. Bickering, there's no argument. Everyone just bits at each other, yeah. throws the, an argument, bang, it clears the air.